If you ever wanted to create an infinite scrolling effect on your website, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create an infinite scrolling effect similar to what's on Framer.com and many other sort of websites. And we're going to do it in Framer. Let's go. Okay, so here I have a real basic landing page. And if I preview this, essentially what the effect I want to achieve is making this all these uh, logos here actually scroll and it will just kind of like scroll uh, forever. Now, the problem is uh, that it doesn't actually happen right now. So to actually achieve this, what we're going to do is go to the insert panel on Framer and we're gonna search for the ticker. Now, the ticker is really powerful. It allows us to actually create this infinity scroll for elements like logos, uh, frames, testimonials, literally whatever content you want. So to achieve this, what we're gonna do is, firstly, we're gonna get rid of all our logos that we currently have. And we're going to drag this ticker into this frame here. And we've got this kind of frame set up as logos. And we're gonna set this ticker width to be 100% height and 100% width, which means it's taking up 100% of the frame that it's in. So the actual properties is being affected by the uh, parent frame, which is this logos panel here. Now we have to go through and actually add our content. So to do this, we want to create all these frames here on the left-hand side that are actually not on our website. So you notice they're on the canvas, but they're actually not part of the actual frame or the breakpoints of our website. So if I preview this, you'll notice that it's actually not a part of the website. They kind of just like sit off to the side. And what we want to do is actually connect these to our ticker so they actually appear on the site. So to do this, what we've essentially got here is four, five, six, seven different logos. Now, by default, you can't actually connect an item to a ticker if it's an SVG or an image. Uh, this is just unfortunate, but there's a way around this. So what we need to do for every logo that we have, we actually want to wrap it in a new frame. And you'll notice here, I've kind of got this SVG, which is my image. And then I've just wrapped it in a frame. And there's no sort of like spacing around the edges. And we're just going to give these a name. So I'm going to call this what they're called. So Doculi, this one's handcrafted. Growth Club, Unit Hub. Parker, and finally, Bangalore. Okay, great. So now that they're named, what we can do is click back on that ticker and we're going to go down to the components section here. And this is where we can configure and uh, decide what this actual component and this ticker looks like. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the children, which is essentially the elements of the ticker. So all the items and all the content we wanna share. And I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna add all these logos that we had in here. Okay, great. Awesome. So now you'll see that these are now actually appearing on the frame of canvas here. Now, if I click on play, you'll actually see that the ticker is already working. Now it's way too quick and we wanna have a little bit more customization, but automatically you can see how easy it is to recreate this effect. So now what I'm gonna do is just tweak some of these settings. So the first thing I'm going to tweak is speed. So this is how fast this modal actually plays. So if I want this ticker to play at half the pace, I'm gonna write 50%. If for whatever reason, and if I don't want it to be readable, I'm gonna make it 200%. Uh, but for now, let's just leave it at 50% and let's preview that. And that's 10 times better. The next thing I'm gonna do is figure out what direction I want it to go. So do I want it to go from left to right, top to bottom, which will be a little bit different. I have full control over this as well. Uh, I kind of like it going from left to right. And we're gonna keep the alignment to the center, which means all these elements are gonna be centered to the frame. Next, I'm actually gonna set the gap. So the gap is the spacing between all these elements and all the frames actually within this element. So we'll space this up so it's nice and great. And the next thing we're gonna do is set the clipping. So this is kind of this kind of like overlay that sits here that's kind of like fading out these logos. We can actually set the width of that. So if I made it 100%, it's essentially going to come to the center on each side. Uh, but I think that's a little bit too much. So let's just bring this down to maybe about 38%. 
that looks pretty good. And we can also decide whether we fade this or not. So if I don't fade it, you'll notice that nothing really happens. But if I do, obviously we get those settings as well. Now, the other important thing that you can do with the ticker is add a hover. So when you actually hover on one of these items, you can actually slow down the pace. So this is really great if you've got a testimonial section on your website that's got this infinite scroll. And there might be a bit of text. And initially when you're kind of scrolling because you want to show all these testimonials, you don't really want, uh, you know, it's too quick for someone to read. So you want to make it so when they actually hover on one of those cards or one of those testimonials, it kind of just slows down even more so they actually have time to read it. So we can do the same effect here. So if we set the hover state to be uh, 0.5, it'll actually slow down another 50% uh, when I actually hover. So you can see it's going at a certain pace, but as soon as I hover, it automatically slows down. So in a nutshell, this is how you create uh, an infinite scroll effect using the ticker element in Framer. Now, like I mentioned, you can apply this to multiple different applications. It doesn't just have to be logos. It can be testimonials. It can be uh, carousels. It can be whatever you want. So if you, so if you enjoyed this video and you want more Framer content like this, feel free to consider subscribing. Otherwise, feel free to check out my ultimate Framer masterclass where I teach you the A to Z of mastering Framer. And we create a bunch more different like products and resources and freebies uh, for the Framer community. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to check out some of the links down below. But until next time, I'll see you later.